Hola beauty amigos, welcome back to another one of my videos. So if you don't know, my name is Marissa LeBlue. I am a self-taught makeup artist who is here to help out people with skin problems, oily skin, redness, and I'm an entrepreneur, businesswoman that wants to teach you how to get to where you want to be in life as well. Today we have a really fun video and it's on the Japan Crate, also known as the Kira Kia Crate. I don't know how to say it, so don't get on me. If I have any Japanese people on here, let me know how you say it because I do not know. If you want to see what is inside the Japan crates, be sure that you like this video if you're excited for it. Be sure that you subscribe to my channel and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you want to see other things that go on with me. Actually, scratch Snapchat. Snapchat sucks now. All right, so I did not do anything to this crate yet. All I did was undo the tape, so that way I'm not on camera struggling to get the tape undone, especially with these, with these things. This is my first Japan Kira Kira crate I have ever received in my entire life. I don't know, how did I come, oh, I came across it because of a really cool YouTuber. Her name is Raina Scully. And she, or Raina Sully, Scully, I'm not sure, but I'll have her name right here for you. So she made a video unboxing one of these crates, and she does a lot of Japan-oriented things because she is Japanese and American. I'm a fan of Japan. As proof, I thought it would only be appropriate to wear my Naruto shirt today. And I had to pull out these bad boys, my Goku joggers. If you don't know who these characters are, then you are not living life, my friend. But I'm super excited to unbox this crate. It's like 30 bucks a month and they come straight out of Japan. They're filled with beauty and skincare products just randomly and they do have a little instruction booklet inside so that way it's in English and you know what the heck you're doing. Let's just go ahead and jump in and unbox this. All right, so it's a nice little teal color crate. Whoops, I'm dropping stuff teal colored crate and it just opens up like so that is what the inside looks like plus this little thing that fell out <laughs> and fell out again this right here is the little brochure it says february 2013 kita kita crate let's pull out the first one first we have this little what is this it has a little panda face on the front and it says facial soap in english at the bottom Okay, so there it is right there in the booklet. It's called the Panda Soap. The description says, this cute panda soap is made with charcoal, but do not fret. Activated charcoal is not only safe to use, but good for your skin. It's great for drawing out toxins and impurities. It is a good option for people with sensitive skin that cannot use harsh cleansers. Pretty much, this is supposed to be a charcoal face, face, <laughs> face wash. And so you just open up the little package, and then you pull out the charcoal soap and it has, oh, it has a cute little baggie for the soap. And this is what that looks like. So I guess I'll probably, I don't know. See, I'm gonna be really scared to try this stuff just because my skin gets jacked up so easy. But I do wanna try it because it says it's supposed to be um, good for sensitive skin. And charcoal is supposed to be really good for like really oily, porous skin that gets really clogged up really fast. So moving on to the second product. It looks like this. It kind of feels weird. It feels like there's some weird product in the packaging. But it says peeling pad and then it says peach. So it must, it must like smell like peach or something. Going back into the instruction booklet, here it is right here. It's called the peach peeling pad. It says makeup, dirt, and the chaos of daily life can leave your skin feeling gross. This peeling pad is a perfect solution as it exfoliates dead skin and impurities away. It also uses a combination of extracts to moisturize and protect your skin. So it actually has directions for this one. So I guess it has directions for some of the products that seem a little bit more confusing to us, you know, us stupid people like myself. Um, it says place two fingers in the pocket of the pad. It looks like that's what they're doing on the front of the packaging. So it says, place fingers in the pocket of the pad, gently massage the soft, larger side of the pad around the face, carefully avoiding the eyes and mouth, use the other side and gently exfoliate the skin. Oh, cool, so it's like a little sponge that you attach to your fingers and you like rub your face with it so you can exfoliate your skin. Cool, never seen that before. Product number three looks like this and it says, it is a wash off pack color mud pack. Leaf green, mud pack that can paint and play, mud provides absorption. Yeah, see, that's why I would not be able to figure out what the F I'm supposed to do with this stuff because what, what are those 
what is that description? I don't get it. Going to the instruction booklet again. We have the color mud pack right here. It says, don't be fooled. This is not face paint. It's a mud pack made to look like paint to help cleanse and renew your skin. You will receive either drop blue, leaf green, or charcoal black. Well, we got leaf green. Green has mugwort extract. Uh, mugwort? Leave a comment if you've heard of mugwort because I have not. For moisturizing and soybean seed extract for overall healthy skin. Directions. After washing your face, apply the mask while carefully avoiding the eye and mouth area. Keep on your face for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse the pack with warm water. Warning. To avoid stains, be careful not to get the pack on your clothes. Okay, so this might stain your clothes, but I am definitely going to be trying this out because it just has the directions of a typical face mask. Product number four. This one I can't even like tell you what the heck it is until I look at the instructions because it has no English on it whatsoever. But it looks like some little like, it almost looks like a bar of soap or maybe like a bath bomb, but it has like a bath bomb texture. I don't know. Feels really hard. Here's the picture that matches it inside of the instruction booklet. It says fresh cherry bath tablet. Oh my gosh, I think I was right. I think it's a bath, bath bomb. Cozy up in a warm bath with this bath tablet. It is medicated to help promote blood circulation, fatigue, recovery, and soothe your body overall. The cute packaging, fizzy effect, and light cherry scent add up to create a relaxing experience. Directions, drop into a full bath of warm water. So I was right, this is a bath bomb. I'm very proud of myself for figuring that out. Product number five is a cuticle cream. The dry air of winter can take a toll on our nails. This cuticle care cream stick will keep your fingernail beds soft and help prevent damage and infection from forming along the cuticle. The rose scent also keeps your hands smelling fresh and sweet. That is something I need right now. My cuticles have been done for, especially in this really cold weather that we've had this past, this winter in Atlanta. My gosh, yeah, I can use, I can use that. So I'll definitely be testing that out. All right, last but not least, product number six is really cute. Look at these, oh, these are so cute. These are so, I'm such a sucker for these types of things. I don't know why, let's see what they are. So they're inside this packaging that feels like really gooey. It says, some some face masks. Keep your skin fresh and soft with not just one face mask, but three. The Mickey and Minnie pack have argan oil, which is a great moisturizer. So this one has argan oil, high in vitamin E and fatty acid content to give your skin a natural boost without feeling greasy. Well, we'll see about that on my oily skin. The Winnie the Pooh pack. Oh, that's supposed to be Winnie the Pooh. How cute. All right. The Winnie the Pooh pack features his favorite food, honey. Honey is great for soothing acne and boosting your complexion for a healthy, even glow. And boy, do we know that I have acne issues. So I will be testing that one out. Donald and Daisy pack. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't even realize that's who it was supposed to be, but duh, now that I look at it. So the Donald and Daisy pack is full of collagen, which is excellent for reducing wrinkles, boosting skin elasticity, and all around keeping a healthy and youthful appearance. The directions are just like pretty much any other face mask. It says to keep it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Apply any excess liquid onto the neck and skin. After the time is up, remove the mask and pat moisture onto the skin. That completes the entire Kita Kita crate for February 2018 and I'm super excited because this is so so cool like the geek inside of me is like mind blown and amazed and excited and if you guys didn't know before now you know that I am like a super geek so yeah if you like this Japan crate unboxing be sure that you give this video a big thumbs up for me be sure to leave a comment below if you received these two and what your favorite product was out of this crate and be sure that you subscribe to my channel because why would you want to miss future unboxings right right and be sure that you follow me on Instagram because other stuff goes on on Instagram that doesn't happen on YouTube so follow it duh all right thank you so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys in the next video see you next time adios